going on guys? So as you can tell from the opening of this video, I'm at an auto body shop. And if you guys have been following along for a while, you guys know that Southside Sales and Service, Southside Players, is one of the only, actually the only dealership that you can also do all custom paint. And I've done a bunch of videos on it, but I'm actually in the paint booth with the painter, um, which is right next door to Southside. And we have Scotty. Everyone say hi to Scotty. So we're in his little, uh, his lab here, his paint lab, as you can see. But uh, I'm going to let Scotty kind of do some talking about what he does and some of the prep work and, and all, you know, how he gets the things to, to stay. You know, a lot of you guys are like, well, how does it hold up? You know, it's plastic. It's this. It's that. Well, Scotty's been doing this for how many years now? 23 years. 23 years. How long have you been painting the sleds? 23? No, I think the sleds probably seven or eight years. Right. So seven or eight years. And he's seen what works. He's seen what doesn't work. So we're going to kind of talk to him about that because I'm sure you guys have a ton of questions about what goes on. So... Scotty, this is now your department. Scotty's a talker too, so he's just going to go on a rampage here. Hey guys, how you doing? So we kind of put this together with Jesse to get over here. He's been trying to put it together to see what we do over here for uh, for Bruce. Um, I know you guys have a lot of questions about what happens with it. How, how does the paint adhere? How does the paint stay? Is it durable? Um, it's very durable. I can tell you that. From the beginning. It's car paint. It's better than OEM car paint. It has to be because it has to last longer. Like if we paint a car and we do a panel, 10 years down the road, that panel will be shinier than the OEM finish because it holds up that much better. Um, a lot of the paint that we use to Bruce and Bruce Jr. supply us with the paint, the colors and stuff like that. Some of their clear, their clear is super duper durable. I would much rather have, I would use their clear on cars if I could, but I can't because it's not, uh, the production is not production. There's a lot, more, a lot longer dry time on it and stuff like that. So. Generally, the longer clear dries, the more durable it is. The oil, gas, um, octane booster, yeah. for instance. Uh, you guys are here for that one. <laughs> Scotty painted it, repainted all that. That's right. You can drop, drop octane booster on that again. It's not going to touch it now. So um, with Bruce, we spent a lot of time in figuring out what works. Uh, a lot of back and forth um, in terms of how we prep the sleds for the adhesion, um, how he gives me the sleds, and what part of disassembly I get the sleds. Um, so what I have to do to them to have my guys prep these things, put an actual mechanical scratch in these surfaces that isn't too deep, but is enough for our paint to adhere to. Um, and then everything after the first coat can all be um, uh, a chemical adhesion. Right. So it always starts out with a mechanical abrasion adhesion, and everything past that is chemical. So you have to try to keep everything in, in its uh, line of paint so that it's durable and lasts, and we can warranty it. Right. So... The way that this, if you guys ever wanted anything done, you guys would go through Bruce and through Southside and, you know, work with whomever there. Most of the time it's Bruce Jr. doing all the colors, I would assume. Yeah, most of the time. So you would work with him to, you know, he would do the renderings and tell you exactly, you know, I want this done, I want that one. And honestly, you could see in the intro clip, you could do, for the most part, every single piece. I, mean, I could paint anything. With all the stuff that we have done, we don't just we don't just deal with this here. We've done artwork, I've painted submarines, we've done models, like anything that can be painted, I have painted it. So I have we have a ton of experience in different substrates, um, how to prep them, how to prep the surface of it, and then go from there to the top coat. So yeah. th there's a lot of stuff in between. There's a lot of learning. We made a lot of mistakes. We've learned a lot, and we're pretty we're pretty confident in our process and, and any of this stuff. Yeah. So depending on what you decide to do with Bruce, you know, that's how your stuff comes here. If it's just panels or anything, just the panels show up. If it's a full sled, you know, they'll tear it down to a certain extent and then it'll get shipped here and you got, you know, so it just really depends. But, you know, they could get anywhere from panels to full sleds to just millions and millions of pieces. I mean, in the paint booth right here, they're doing tunnel protectors, which we just talked about in the stud video. So like they, I mean, it's down to like that nitty gritty. They're literally doing the tunnel protectors, so they're not, you know, bare aluminum. So it's super cool to see. They've been doing it forever. Scotty has, like he said, a million different, you know, ways to get the paint to adhere. I've seen it firsthand, and the stuff is incredible. It's shinier than OEM. Definitely lasts better. It's you know, scratch far more durable. Yeah, than far OEM. way more durable. So, um, but yeah. Actually, the, the nylon, like that was the biggest worry when the Matrix came out, was the nylon. The nylon panels on them are like, if you get dust on them and you touch them with your finger or wipe it off with any kind of rag without first putting water and soap on it, it's going to scratch. You're going to mar that surface. It's super soft. So we were trying to figure out a way to make them more durable. There are some black panels that we were repainting black because the paint is far more durable than 
just a stock raw nylon nylon panel. So I don't. I, you guys that have stock nylon panels, I have a sled right now that has nylon panels. I'm probably going to end up painting them because I want the durability of the, the right. paint on it. Yeah. So Scotty is just about full bore on snowmobile stuff. As more and more and more of them show up, more and more and more stuff gets shipped over here. Uh, his sled, luckily, he's one of the lucky ones. His sled just showed up this week. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. So he's working on some of those parts in there or his. Um, whenever my sled gets here, mine's going to be torn apart and brought down here. Um, and then we're just going to go over. And I'm going to show you Bruce Sr. sled, who Scotty just did. It started as like a couple things and then it just es it escalated yeah, into like a way bigger. Like a big snowball. It was supposed to just be some side panels and some, some trim pieces and it turned into the whole sled. But. Yeah, so I'll go over there and show that. But uh, this is the man behind the paint that you guys see, you know, all the time. So, Scotty, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll be we'll be riding with Scotty this year. So you won't, this isn't the last that you're going to see of him. So, Scotty, thank you. Okay, guys, so we're back next door, and this is Bruce Sr.'s ride this year. So this is a little far-fetched for Bruce. He's normally a black and white guy, so he's straight far from his, his normal routine and went with this color. So he wanted, and it's he did a really good job on it, and I like what he did, and I'm going to let him explain kind of his thought process behind it and why he did what he did, but... It came out super, super sharp. Ignore the no flap. Just haven't gotten that far yet. So, um, what color blue is this? This is radar blue. And then I had Scotty put a, a little bit of extra flake in it when he in the clear. So when he cleared the sled, it, um, it sparkles a little more in the sun than it does. Yeah, we just had it out in the sun, and we were going to do the video out there, but the cars driving by kind of ruined it. So. so when I talked to him about what I wanted to do, for not only colors but where we wanted to do it you know commonly we're taking the the slash which is this here off of the side panel so the panel in the end when we take it off the panel looks like this so the, the slash unscrews and unsnaps from the other side so i had them i said well, why don't we take that off and we'll there's actually a cut line on these where you can follow a line down this and make a new paint line. So I said, well, let's make a new paint line so that the top half of the side panel here and here is the same color as the slash and the hood. Because uh, what I was trying to do, and when it was outside, I noticed it finally standing back from it. But when you when you walk up to the sled now, it change, kind of changes the hood line because rather than having the, the slash just a totally separate color like on the Boost or on many other ones, so you, you know, you it's defined where the hood is, where the slash is, and where the side panel is. Now, with him uh, cutting it in and changing this whole color line where it is, and then Scotty, he went next step with his airbrush, and he actually blended the silver with the uh, with the blue. Uh, so that was really a, a really nice touch. But when you walk up to the sled now, it kind of changes the whole look, because now the hood, the slash, and the and where we put our line, it almost makes the snowmobile look completely different when you're walking up to it. Mm -hmm. Totally different. And it started as just like a front half. He was going to do like the side panels and the hood. And then, I don't, did Scotty talk you into this? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah just, as soon as we started doing that, then it was like now when we when we made the line of the blue here, so then it's like, well, we could two-tone the, the tunnel. And where the tunnel line is is kind of the same level as that. And then... And then he shaded it just like he did the other. So, yeah, I mean, he just he does great work. Yeah. And then there was going to be no blue up top, and then he got talked into doing the blue there and the blue around the, you yeah. know, your... Yeah, so when you look from the back of the sled, it, uh, we have the, the black sticky piece we left. We pulled it out. It's all painted under it, and then stuck it back on again. Yeah. But he, um, we painted the, uh, the seat holder, so that's the where the can where you can put your... Little extra stuff in so, so we painted that separately and, and you know made the black in the center here we just taped it off yeah and so he even, yeah he even took the tail light bracket and then silvered that and then just kind of uh, just a quick blend around yeah, the edges yeah so i mean this is and again we've gone over all this stuff in another video but this is again if you're new to the channel this is just to show you that you can literally paint almost every single panel on these sleds if you want to so you know Scotty, just like you said before, he has ways to get everything to stick. 
and uh, here's your, you know. Yeah, we, we tested that last year because we knew that the product, the, the material of the snowmobile was changing right. from the stuff that we had in Axis to now on Matrix. So he definitely did his homework and got the right stuff, and it does. It, it sticks great. It looks great. Yeah. Wow, it looks really good. And especially the more and more I look at it, the better and better it looks. So this is Bruce's ride. So his 650 did come in. So yeah, 650 XCR 128. Yeah, that's what I that's what I wanted to ride. This is Bruce's buggy for the year. Mm -hmm. So came out awesome. Definitely going to stand out. No one else is going to have you know anything like this, and that's what makes it so cool about being able to do that or ordering a sled through Bruce or even just bringing it here just for the paintwork. Yeah. You can make it your own, and no one else is going to have it. So. If you guys are interested, as always, and I'll, try, I'll put the other videos um, in the description of the video um, that really go over everything. There's pictures of like a breakdown of the sled of what you can actually do to it and paint. And uh, if you're interested, you know, reach out. Oh, actually, did you paint these two? Uh, no, what, what we did there is this is the silver that was on this thing. This was a black titanium sled, just like the XCR on the other side of that mm -hmm. rocket. And uh, so... I was going to take him out and paint those, and then he painted the wind deflector, and he actually taped off the center black. This is usually the dull portion of the black, mm -hmm. and but what he did is he taped it off, he sprayed it, and then he cleared over the whole thing, so now that black became shiny, Right. and then he touched the edges with his airbrush, so the darkness kind of bled right into that, yeah. so it was like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, but I mean, you could paint them, you could, yeah. you could paint really anything, so again, if you guys are interested... As always, reach out. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. I'm excited to get mine so I can get mine painted. And you guys will obviously see all of that. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.